Hey everybody, welcome back to Texas Breaks. Today we are going to open up a box of 1989 Fleer. <clears throat> We're going to be looking for the error cards, the rookie cards. Uh, there's actually a lot to <clears throat> try to find in this set. So hopefully we can find a bunch of good stuff. We have the King Griffey Jr. rookie card, the Randy Johnson rookie card, Craig Biggio. Um, there's the Billy Ripken F-Face card. Uh, the Randy Johnson also could potentially be an error card. So hopefully, if we're lucky, we can find at least a one or two of the good cards out of here. There's some other rookie cards in here, and we'll notate them as we go along. But let's get started. So I was I picked this up on eBay quite a while back, probably beginning of the year, and I just really been holding on to it and waiting for the just the right time to try to break into it and see what we can find. There's your box. Here's who's on the bottom of the box. Alan Trammell, Mike Greenwell, George Brett, and the Detroit Tigers. So that's your box bottoms. And let's get into these. I kind of looked at the packs a little bit, and they did not look like they've been searched. You never know. I mean, they very well could be. Of course, I say that, and then I see some weird writing, but that might be part of the printing. But hopefully it has not been, and hopefully we'll find some of these good cards that we're looking for. What I hope we don't find is like a Billy Ripken blackout, you know, the black box card in like the first is it George Brett Hall of Famer in the first like pack or two, and then we know that this is not there we go. There's the Craig Biggio rookie card. It's a great start. Here we go. That's the back of it. Very nice. But and then that way we'll know that this is not one of the error runs already. Juan Hayes, Junior Ortiz, Jeff Reardon, and All-Star Mike Greenwell. If it's not going to be one of the air cards, I'd like for it to wait until we get closer towards the end, and then that way then kind of deflate it. I mean, but there's still the good rookie cards that we can find out of here, so that'll be fun. Checklist: Dave Lapointe, Jay Buner, Tom Bernanski. John Dobson, Mark Langston, Dave Bergman, Oral Hershiser, Tendleton, Billy Doran, and Dennis Eckersley. A little bit of wax on Eckersley. Not a lot. You could, I don't even know if you could see it. Probably not. But... Cards seem to be in pretty good condition. Dave Winfield, Hal Morris. We got a pitcher perfect Tom Browning. Daryl Strawberry. There's a Cal Ripken Jr. The card we're looking for in this set is his brother. Doug Jones, Jeff Treadway, and I think doesn't Treadway have an error card? He had something above his hat, like a, I want to say a target or something. I don't see it. I'll put it off to the side just in case, but I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Greg Maddox. Mike Balecki, Pat Sheridan. Here are prospects 
Luis De Los Santos and Jim Campbell, Chris Gwynn, Tracy Jones, and a Frank White. All right, Bruce Benedict, Al Leiter, Jim Deshays, Dick Schofield, Jesse Barfield, Andy Van Slyke, Kent Herbeck, Ted Simmons, Rafael Belliard, and Dwight Evans finishes that one off. Really love to pull the Griffey, the Randy, even if the Randy's the... The uh, blacked out billboard. That's fine. It's still Randy Johnson. Now that I found the Craig Biggio, which was one of the ones I wanted to find, those next two would be it. And I, I mean, I would love to find the air cards, but I'm not counting on those. There's a Gary Sheffield rookie. It's a nice one. Chili Davis and Rick Honeycutt. As you guys, I'm sure most of you know, the Billy Ripken has several versions. There's the, was the true, I guess the true error card, which was the F face on the end of the bat in the picture. And then they attempted in many different ways to try to block that out. Wide out, which is, I think, the most sought after one, the hardest one to find. There's the black box, and then there's the blackout, where it basically looks like they scribbled over it. And the black box is the most common one. That's the one that has the least amount of value to it because it's the easiest one to pull. So if we do find a Billy Ripken, our hope is it's not the black box. Any of the other ones I'll take just because I don't have that one. I only have the black box. But we'll see if we even come across one. Dave Stewart, Sandy Alomar Jr., Ozzy Virgil, there's Double Trouble. Andres Galarraga and Gerald Perry. Ken Daly. Dave Clark. David Cohn. Larry Sheets and Mike Birkbeck. All right, so the last pack in the first stack. Sid Fernandez. Cal Daniels. Lance Johnson, Mike Kruko, got a Vance Law, Dan Petrie, Gene Larkin, Darren Jackson, Jack Morris, Hall of Famer, Mark Davis, and then po prospects Lenny Harris and Marty Brown. Paul Ossemacher, there's a Wade Boggs, Carney Lansford, Hot Corners, Wally Backman, Dave Schmidt, Bob Ojeda, Andy Allenson, Danny Jackson, part of the Nasty Boys, and stack number two. We're going to go through these pretty fast because most of the names in here aren't anything really to focus on. Um, and even some of the Hall of Famers that are in here really don't have much value, and I, I'm sure you guys have seen them a million times. So really the big rookies, there's Lance McCuller Sr., and the air cards are what we're going to really focus on. So we, we'll start going through it a little fast. There will be some guys that we'll stop on, but I don't want to spend too much time. These big, bigger boxes, the older wax boxes, you take too much time on them, they can 
these videos can turn out to be almost an hour long. So, Buddy Bill. RJ Reynolds. Gary Gaetti. Julio Franco, All Star. Checklist again. Edgar Martinez. And Ellis Burks. Yvonne Calderon, Mike Marshall, it's Glenn Davis, one of my favorite players growing up, Dave Parker, Jack Clark, Tommy John, Mike Maddox, Ruben Sierra, Dale Murphy, and Dual Heat, Mark Davis, Dwight Gooden. So that pack actually had some, some good names for back in 89, some pretty good hitters. All right, Denny Walling, Ron Washington, Ron Darling, Daryl Hamilton, Kurt Manwaring, Jim Rice, Hall of Famer, Rafael Palmero, Ted Higuera, and Willie Frazier. So far, not a lot. A Sheffield rookie and a Biggio rookie. Bob Nepper is a Jose Canseco. Ricky Jordan, would it be McDowell? It's Tom Glavin, is that the rookie? I want to say it is. No. 88 was his rookie. My bad. The Triple A's, Canseco, Steinbach, and McGuire. That was a fun card back in the day. Barry Larkin, Hall of Famer. Andre Dawson, Hall of Famer. Alan Trammell. Hoffer. Roberto Alomar. Hall of Famer. So I'm still not 100% convinced it's not been looked through. It doesn't seem like it, but we're just not hitting anybody, really. The Sheffield and the Biggio are two of the lesser valued of the rookies. So... Try not to be skeptical and... Assuming and accusatory, but there's so much of that going on, and it's so easy to kind of look through these and put them back. But unless you're getting a BBC certified box, which you're going to pay an absorbent amount of money for, you're just kind of taking a risk. And I've been lucky so far, where I don't think I've gotten any boxes that have been gone through, but. It's just a matter of time. There's a Nolan Ryan. Very nice. But it will happen to me eventually. If if not now. That's maybe that's what's going on right now. All right, we're in first half of the box is done. Going into the second half, and hopefully this half is a little bit better. Alan Ashby, Jack Howe, Lance Blankenship, Jim Clancy, Bobby Bonilla. There's a 89 All-Star, Jose Canseco. Checklist, Tom Prince, 
Terry Pendleton, Roger Clemens. Should be a Hall of Famer. Don't know if he'll get in on the by the writers. But he should get in eventually by the Veterans Committee if he doesn't. Definitely deserves it. Wes Gardner, Rick Sutcliffe. Prospects, Kevin Brown and Kevin Raymer. Kevin Brown had a really good career. Just didn't sustain it long. Well, kind of been lackluster. Eddie Darwin, Wally Joyner. Now we're starting to see some duplicates. There's Fred McGriff. Should be a Hall of Famer. David Wells, Doug Drabeck. Bruce Hurst and Ozzie Guillen. Whose White Sox beat my Astros in the 05 World Series. Rob Dibble, one of the nasty boys. Wallace Johnson, Mickey Brantley. Mike Scott. And Will Clark, Daryl Strawberry, home run coast to coast. Kevin McReynolds, Don August, Jerry Gleaton, Greg Jeffries was a highly touted player back in the 80s, Joe Carter, Tom Browning, Nasty Boy, Rich Gedman, Jim Ganter, Mark McLemore. Schmidt, Hall of Famer. Scott Fletcher. Tom Candiotti. Terry Leach. Joe Orsalak. Paul O'Neill. All right. Come on. At least put a Griffey in here somewhere. Astro sticker. I'm going to keep that. Pasquale Perez, Steve Farr, Todd Simmons, Dave Rigetti, Craig Reynolds, Devon White, and Terry Steinbach. Juan Samuel. There's Barry Bonds. Dennis Eckersley, All Star. Bob Walk. Darnell Coles. Got a little excited with the Mariners there. Wade Boggs. Bill Long. Rex Hudler, Mario Diaz, and Scott Geralds. All right, getting close to the last stack. We're just flying through these. There's not a lot to stop for. Kirk Gibson, Tim Burke, Eric Shaw, Louis Meadows, Bob Boone, Dwayne Ward. Don Baylor, Steve Jeltz, Jeff Musselman, Sid Bream, Tom Lander, Anna Will Clark, All Star.
Awesome Checklist, Jim Presley, Gary Reedus, Vince Coleman, Speedy Vince Coleman, and a Marty Barrett behind him. Uh, uh, there we go. Jerry Rose, Dave Concepcion, Dave Martinez, Ray Quinones, Rick Russell, Jim Wallawander, Brady Anderson, Gerald Young, Carney Lansford, and Matty Williams. All right, guys, last stack. Let's see if we can have some some late magic. Lenny Dykstra, Tom Filler, Mookie Wilson, Willie Upshaw, Frank Williams, Don Paul. Well, I don't know. You guys tell me. Leave a comment. Let me know. What do you think? These seem like they were tampered with. Doesn't really look like it, but just the lack of anybody. There's Ryan Sandberg. I mean, we're getting some Hall of Famers, but none of those have any value to them. The only cards with the value, the Griffey and the Randy Johnson or the Ayers, nowhere to be seen. And I know you can get a box and not have one or two of them in there, but usually you get at least one. Or you see duplicates of other guys like the Biggio or the Sheffield. We've gotten one. Those don't really have high value to them, so that's probably why they got left. But let me know. What do you guys think? Do you think it was a search? Does it feel like it just by the look of who we're getting? You know, maybe saying this, Griffey will pop up somewhere. Mark McGuire. But it's not the Ricky Henderson with the Yankees. Not feeling it right now. Kevin Romine, Calvin Schiraldi, Joey Meyer. Goose Gossage, Gary Pettis, Randy Reddy, and Gerald Clark. All right, four packs to go. Pedro's brother, Pat Stenick, Kevin Bass, Marvell Wynn. Don Slot, Kent Colvey. There's Chris Sabo. You knew he was going to pop up even on search packs. He usually pops up. There's a Tom Needen Fuhrer. Gave up the infamous home run to Ozzie Smith. In the, I think it was the 87 NLDS or NLCS. Here's a rookie. There's John Smoltz, rookie. That was the other one I couldn't think of. So we found all the rookies except for the two that really make a difference. Mm -hmm. Okay, two packs to go. Need it. Randy Johnson, a King Griffey Jr., or a Rand, uh, King, uh, Billy Ripken in order for me to say, you know what, this was not a bust. That this was not searched. It's Tony Gwynn, Hall of Famer. Under Scalaraga. All 
All right, last pack. Last pack magic, anybody? Bob Honer, Howard Johnson, Eddie Murray, Hall of Famer, Jamie Quirk, Dave West, Rich Yet, Eric Davis, Mark Grace, Dante Bichette, and last, Robin Yount. Well, no. If I had to guess, if I had to really say yes or no, I'm going to go ahead and say I think that these were searched and were gone through. Um, there was The folds were perfect on the packs. They came off super easily. There was really no cards of note in any of them. So in my opinion, it feels like they were. But I don't know. I don't have any proof. So uh, let me know in the comments what you think because I'm really curious what you guys think. Um, if you like the video... Hit the like button, please. Uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Turn on the notifications so you can see when more content's put out. And I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch the video. And we'll see you next time. Bye.